Sinking like a stone, unpacking English idioms. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms, focusing on one particular phrase that often puzzles learners, sink like a stone. This idiom is a vibrant part of the English language, and understanding it can not only enhance your vocabulary but also give you insights into how English speakers express complex ideas in a few words. Let's explore this together. The phrase, sink like a stone, is used to describe a situation where something fails very badly or decreases in value or quality very quickly. It paints a vivid picture of something heavy, like a stone, being dropped into water and immediately sinking to the bottom. This idiom is often used to emphasize the speed and inevitability of the failure or decline, suggesting that there was no chance of recovery, just as a stone cannot float or resist sinking. To help you grasp the concept better, let's look at some examples where this idiom might be used. Financial context. If a new company's stock price plummets right after its launch, someone might say, their shares sank like a stone, highlighting the rapid decline in value. Personal efforts. When someone's attempt at something fails spectacularly, like a poorly received performance, you could hear, his singing career sank like a stone, indicating the failure was both total and swift. The origin of sink like a stone is tied to the literal action of a stone sinking when dropped in water, simple, direct, and universally understood. This imagery has been used for centuries in various cultures to depict failure or downfall, making it a powerful and relatable metaphor in English. When using sink like a stone, it's important to remember it's typically used in negative contexts. Ensure the situation you're describing is indeed a significant failure or rapid decline. It's a metaphor, so no actual stones or sinking need to be involved. Understanding idioms like sink like a stone can enrich your English learning journey, offering you more ways to express ideas vividly and colorfully. Remember, Language is not just about grammar and vocabulary. It's also about the images and emotions words can convey. We hope this exploration has been enlightening and that you'll feel more confident using this idiom in your conversations. Until next time, keep diving deep into the beauty of English.